Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, welcome. My name is Raya. So today I've got a little bit of a different video for you and it's more of a kind of a relax video, I would say, of my shoe collection. It's a video request because I haven't actually done one of these before. At the moment, everything is upside down in my house, but what I do have are like my shoes lined up. I have some in boxes and some like in the room that I'm in at this moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it and just tell you about the shoes. I'm so gonna... my first pair of shoes that I would like to share with you are my... I absolutely love these boots. The shapes of this reminds me of the Givenchy shark boot vibe. The pointed toe, I wasn't sure of the silver because I don't have any silver hardware on any of my handbags, but I was like, you know what? I love the shoes, they're so comfortable, I'm just gonna get these. And I'm glad I did, because I feel like I can wear these with leggings, trousers, like skinny trousers. These boots are from Zara, I got them a few seasons ago. I would say um, it was their autumn winter. It's real leather and it's got Mongolian sheep fur, um, or Mo Mongolian sheep skin, skin or fur, I don't know, detailing at the top. It is a lace up with a buckle. It can be quite of a pain to get on and off, but it's obviously fine if you're going out for the day then removing them like when you come back just if you're not planning to go somewhere to get them on and off it's going to be a pain but they're such a nice boot i love them they don't really have like much of a heel which i would have loved if they did but it has a little bit and they've lasted for a very long time so i have to say i really do like them i've only ever worn these with like leggings and like wet look trousers like the ones I have on now but I think they would go with a denim skirt but I love these and I've had these for years and I probably will never get rid of them because I love them so much these next pair I've got on I've kept with laces and I again they had this military style it can be very kind of classic because they would have had these like in the olden days but they also have a very edgy vibe and you see them like in loads of places I did get these from New Look now these are an exact dupe for the ones from Theory which I might pop on screen and I love the knit you can wear it with like knitted leggings or trousers or even a dress and a skirt and you can wear it like a few different ways if you want to see a video on how I would style these in a few different ways then just let me know I absolutely love these they are not leather I wish they were so I bought another pair in case these go like bad I wanted to get another pair I really do love these I like the fact they have a lace down all the way down and I will link these because these are kind of new as well these boots are the Chloe rain boots I feel like I got these two years ago now I got them in 2020 in lockdown and I've got a lot of wear out of these. I have to say over time, I feel like the zip normally ends up like this, like halfway down my ankle when I'm doing a lot of walking. I don't know if it's because my ankles, where I've put on weight and my ankles have got a little bit bigger or what, but it never really used to do this and like now it does and I don't really know how to make it just stay up. But these are one of my, um, much loved boots they give me the perfect height that i like they keep my feet dry um i like the little logo here and then you've got um like the little detailing logo at the back here i really love like they make me feel really nice when i've got them on i just am really disappointed that the zip always falls down i don't know what much like what else i can do to make them stop now the next pair of boots these are suede boots from h&m's premium collection these are from probably five seasons ago possibly more they are real suede and i love the detailing around the leg it's perfect it fits my ankles and my legs and i have wide calves so i do have trouble nowadays trying to squeeze into everything especially if you are petite and you have small feet so these next boots now are from mango i love how they've got this great little detailing on the point of the toe just underneath where it has a kind of a square bit that kind of protects the point i don't know if you can see you can probably see it from this angle or this angle maybe more so this angle it's not like very high but it's so comfortable it's perfect for work i've worn it with skirts and dresses and leggings and i do love these they're very comfortable 
and I bought these two seasons ago from Mango and I have to say they have lasted a very long time. I believe they are faux leather, they are not real but the quality is really good and they have stayed looking like practically new every time I wear them. The only thing that kind of lets it down is sometimes I get this around the ankle because I'm quite slim here but if you wear like socks you can easily pad this out but it's not so much of um, a big deal like it doesn't bother me that much this bit. So these boots are from New Look, they're premium range so it's real leather. I believe it's just like normal leather, I don't think it's calf or anything like that and it's so comfortable i have had these for a very long time a lot of my stuff i've had for like years and years and i will keep because i feel like with fashion nowadays unless like you spend a lot of money on stuff i find it hard to find good quality items like how you used to with places like zara and h&m possibly even new look or top shop but you, i mean obviously they're still around you just gotta you know keep your eye out and you know grab something when you see it and find it but these are amazing they are very comfortable i wouldn't stand in these for a very long time i used to wear these to work and what drew me into it was the heel the chunky heel and how different they are the kind of squared heel they look really nice with like wet look trousers like how i'm wearing today These boots are from H&M. I absolutely love these. I feel like pulling up the trousers to show you guys like how lovely they really are. So these are what they look like just by themselves. I really love these boots. They look so much more expensive than they actually are. And I did get these probably three seasons ago. And the first thing I did when I wore them was get out of my car um and step in a huge puddle which was really gross but they did dry off and they lasted very well i've worn these like to the nines and they i mean i probably should get them replaced but they're still like looking okay the heels need to go like i need to go and get them taken to a cobbler to get them rehealed but i wanted to show you guys this anyways because i just love how they look these next shoes are from again zara these are from a few seasons ago now i would probably say round six they are probably one of the most uncomfortable pair of boots i will ever own and i am thinking of selling them i've worn them twice and because i just can't wear like the pain is just too much um but they just look so nice they fit my leg and my ankle and you would have seen these in many hauls like it just fits really nicely all the way up these boots are one of my favorites they are so comfortable i love how they have like an almond point like toe to it it's so elegant these are really <laughs> dusty i'm really sorry about the dust um it's not like dirt it's just a little bit of dust from the house at the minute these have survived rainfall i obviously don't go out on them in the rain but they have where i've been out in the rain with them when i didn't know it was going to they've lasted so well i got these from like one of those independent boutique shops they've got a tiny little hill um with them they've got like a drawstring they're very much a dupe for stuart weitzman boots those really popular boots that were like really popular like some years back and i have worn these so much absolutely love them i've worn them over leggings jeans uh tights dresses uh sorry with dresses and stuff and they're just great they're really really nice i got these boots uh many years ago from venice italy and these are real suede they were like in a wine merlot color i would i would say and with it's um gold hardware i remember i used to wear these to work and my colleague used to laugh and call them my pirate boots or say i was in my pirate outfit today um because of the buckles but it's so comfortable i mean looking at the heel height the heels are yes they're like high but these are the most comfortable shoes or boots like with heels of this height i have and i love them so much it does have an almond toe i would prefer a more pointed toe but that was before 
and I knew back then when you are petite you should focus on having more pointed toes to elongate your legs further but nonetheless this still looks really cute and I absolutely love the kind of burgundy Merlot red colour albeit I don't get a lot of wear out of this because of the colour I don't have enough but I think come like Christmas, autumn, it's definitely a colour I should be rocking more often. These next boots are from Zara. They are real leather, tan, and I love these boots a lot. The quality of them looks so much more expensive, and I believe they are made in Spain and not China. And a little tip, when you look for shoes, try looking for shoes made in Spain, because I find Spanish shoes very comfortable and very good quality in general so just a little tip um these are really lovely they remind me of the prada ones and similar color to the hermes boots and for like a tiny not even a fraction of the cost it has a heel which i love i always need a heel the only thing that gets me is that the ankle kind of just creases up and even though that can be a bit of a look and a vibe i prefer it to be more kind of straight now these boots are from Topshop, they are their premium leather, painted leather shoes and I love these. They do make my ankle look a tad wide, even though you can see that my ankles are a little bit more slimmer than this, but I do wear it on top of um, kick flare, like bell bottoms, kick flare trousers, leather trousers and also jeans. They look so nice and what's so nice about them is that the um, pointy toes really elongate your legs but not only that the actual um, leather of it looks really nice quality it looks like something you would get on a leather sofa chesterfield it's a lovely brown like deep brown tan color and it's like very much a cowboy style boot which it's probably one of my favourite styles, I think, maybe when it comes to ankle boots. These next boots are from H&M, again, five seasons ago, I'd say. They are so comfortable, but they have been through the walls. And they are more of a round toe, which makes my toes look a bit stubby. I kind of wish they were more pointy. But because the heels are really high with this, they don't look so bad. But they have been through the walls. They're very old and very worn and very much loved i'm not sure if i wear these anymore but they do go with like my vinyl trousers it's got really dark now but these boots are um from asos i uh, i think they are just an asos brand and these are real leather they are the cowboy western style type of boots i love how it just grabs my ankle I love how it just grabs my ankle here and at the back it really is flattering the heel as well also on this is really um, a flattering style it's real um leather for the longevity of it and i really like the front part of it um like this and it goes so nice with like kick flares i've got like these flared leather trousers and flared jeans they just look really nice with them i think and also like skirts and dresses These boots are from um h&m premium collection they are comfortable not as comfortable as the black ones that you saw previously and i nabbed these because i thought they were like the black ones with the you know the wide calf and everything but i've I've only worn these a couple of times so I think I might sell them because I don't actually wear them at all and they're just not really me anymore they're like a peachy nudish colour which are cute but I don't know I think I'm just gonna sell these because I really don't wear them in um, if I'm honest with you and I don't know what to wear them. well I do know what to wear them with but I don't think they look nice on my legs so these boots I bought from next um, just towards the end of last year with the whole chunky boot trend and i 
like was searching the ones from Zara I found and they were lovely but they didn't fit me um, around the knee properly like they just came up too high so when I would bend the back of my knee it would hit now these boots are from Zara they are a rubberized texture or material where it was like kick flare jeans um, or trousers for that kind of 90s vibe and hooped ear gold hooped earrings and like a blazer jacket like a long one um, these go really well they are quite heavy but they're like they're really cool and I wear them a lot these boots are <laughs> one of my favorite boots I got these from Public Desire and I have struggled to find boots this color that are like the whole boot is the colour like, at the bottom like fair enough it's all like vegan leather and plasticky and stuff at the bottom like the sole but I love how it's all one colour and someone also commented on my Instagram post about the boots and asked where they were from which is where I got the inspiration to do the whole boot um collection video for you guys so thank you for that what lets these boots down is the quality because these are actually really comfortable but the quality of these are not that great at the back i'm going to turn around and i'm going to show you at the back there's on the uh, uh right one this one here you can see it's lifted and i can glue these down but i need to find the right kind of glue for these so i might take them to a cobbler so hopefully they can figure it out but because they're not real leather i don't know how long the repair will last but i of course will get these repaired because they match so many things and they go with like so many of the trousers that i own and i really do love these boots and they go nice with skirts and i've worn them so much throughout the whole of lockdown i had a pair of these and i bought like these are the second pair that i've bought so these next pair are very much at pre ski style they are from h&m i got them last uh, this the winter that just passed uh, 21 and so they are still available so I can link them for you they are very comfortable I'm using these very much as slippers nowadays in the house with all the renovation works they're easy to slip on and off they are Sherpa lined inside and out they are very comfortable but they are big they are very true to size so I wear them as slippers but if you were to have an insole in them then it would be fine they're a bit too flat for me to walk around in for a long time but they are very cute. So next up, these are my Uggs. I have had these for a few years now and they still look really good. I think I bought these at the start of lockdown actually, uh, at the very start. And these are so comfortable. And they have, the reason why I got these is because the sole, they're, they are the hiking boot. And I like how it had like, the shirling all the way up. I thought it was quite flattering on like your ankles and stuff to wear with boots. And they have the other detailing at the back. They are meant to be like waterproof and stuff, but I try not to wear these in the rain because I don't want to get them damaged. But they are really cute little boots. I have to um I have to say I have worn these a lot of times. Like, right. So these boots are my Louis Vuitton wellies. I have had these for over 10 years. I've got a hell of a lot of mud on these i'm not going to walk around or move too much it's going on my uh, floors so i've had these for years they are great i wore them so so many different times with so many different um outfits and stuff the only thing is i now struggle to get these off my calves it's tight now i don't know if plastic shrinks like it's rubber the wellies so i don't know if it shrinks over time but they do feel a bit kind of large around the calf area so I feel like I don't wear these as much as I used to so guys that is it from me for today I really hope that you enjoyed this style of video it's something different that I thought I might do um, especially as one of you asked for it and uh, I might do like a part two maybe because there are some shoes that I'm thinking of getting like the um, Louboutins which I know I'm very uncomfortable, but I think every girl needs to have a pair. Or maybe like Manolo's. I don't have Manolo's. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all soon in my next video. Bye!